welcome to Air Tricity League. I'm Nicola McGeady and joining me this week to preview the fixtures is Leon Blanche. Hey, Leon, Nicola. Well done last week. Four out of six for the punters. So, yeah, not you know, bad. Not bad. We went for a bit of a, I suppose, a long shot in uh, Shells getting a draw against Rovers, but uh, they were well and truly brought back down there with a 4 0 hammering before I was six. Hopefully, a few people yeah, made some money. Definitely. Well, speaking of Rovers, what would have once been a really highly anticipated nail biting derby Shamrock Rovers versus Bose now looks to be pretty much Shamrock Rovers all the way at one to three. <laughs> Can you see anything happening? I mean, Bose last week were yeah. absolutely terrible. That game didn't deserve to be televised. No, it was. It was a shocking game. Uh, nil all. Bose still haven't scored this year in four games. That was their first point of the season, so it'll give them a little bit of confidence. But no, Rovers, uh, this will be easy. One to three. You won't get rich, but um, no banker going to give you 30% investment. You know, you might get something out of him. Yeah, He's you go back to Twig. He's the Leeds, le league's leading goal scorer on four goals at the moment. Uh, he's a brilliant player. Probably of a higher standard than the Airtricity uh, Premier Division. No disrespect, I think Twig could actually make it in a higher level over in the UK. But yeah, one to three, <coughs> excuse me, Rovers will win. And I think they'll win quite comfortably. Bowes just have no attacking threat whatsoever. Mm. Well, next game is Cork versus Bray Wanderers. Both are coming off the back of defeats. Yeah. Cork, you know, they've had a miserable start to the season, but, you know, are the odds in favour of them getting one over Bray this Yeah, week? I don't know whether I'd be lumping on Cork at 8-13. To, to be mm. honest, they've only had one draw out of four games. Uh, Bray, on the other hand, they've only had one win, but it came away from home and they beat UCD 4-2. So Pat Devlin will be trying to instil that into his lads going down to Cork. Cork is not an easy place to go to, Nicola. They'll have a good crowd. They're a well-supported club. And if I was to have a bet in this game, I'd probably go for the draw. Some people will look at Bray at 5-1 to one and say it's too big a price. I just think Bray would be happy um, if they had a share of the spoils. So 12-5 to five for me. Probably the value bet. Okay, well, moving on. Drogheda, I suppose they it was definitely a hard-earned three points. They deserved it last week, moving them up seven points in their yeah. third now on, in the table. And um, This is going to be shaping up to be a very interesting game against Derry. I'd imagine there's not a huge difference in the odds, Leon. No, I don't think there should be, really, Nicola. I think uh, Drogheda have started well, as have Derry. Derry have got three wins mm -hmm. from four. Drogheda have got seven points out of 12. So both these sides are doing well. Uh, Drogheda's two wins have come away from their home uh, ground so they'll be looking to try and pick up points at home because you need to start winning games at home if you do well in any division. Uh, Derry are 11 to 10. Um, I thought it was a kind of a comfortable win last week. They weren't really pressured. Uh, Drogheda on the other hand will give them an entirely different proposition. Uh, Tierna Mulvena who of course used to play for Dundalk. Uh, I think that's been a remarkable signing for the Drogs. He always looks lively. He's very young. He's got a long career ahead of him in the Airtricity division. And I really feel here this one again Nicola 12-5 to Drogheda. 11-5 to the draw. I hate tipping up draws but it's very hard to split these two sides, so I'm going to have yeah. to go for the draw at 11 to 5. Okay, I'm going to disagree. I'm going to go with Drawhead because I do think, you know, yeah, they've been look, working well and might get something. Yeah, no, I mean, listen, there'll be plenty of people who will agree with you mm. because at home, at almost 5 to 2, it's a decent bet, 12 to 5, but I think Derry have enough yeah, in their exactly. locker to get a point. Yeah. Well, the next game is probably not going to be the most exciting UCD versus Monaghan, mm. both coming in off the back of defeats. Yeah. Um, neither are setting the world alight with their football, so where do you think this one's going to go? Another draw? Yeah, I suppose <laughs> it has a chance of being it another like draw, draw. At, at 9 to 4, but. Monaghan last week, they set out with a game plan against Sligo. They tried to just have a nil-all draw. Sligo beat them 1-0. I would say they'll take the shackles off a little bit. Well, I hope he does anyway, Roddy Collins, and lets Monaghan go and play a bit of football at UCD. UCD were well beaten by Dundalk, although the scoreline only says 2-1. There was a vast gulf between those two sides. So I really feel here... Uh, UCD at even money I think it's a horrible price yeah. I wouldn't be backing UCD at evens am I going to tip another draw on the cards yeah I am I'm going to go 9-4 to four to draw there's just there's not a lot between these and, and the next game doesn't get any easier with shells against pats but look yeah. draws are there for a reason you know it is possible, and I think this one could finish the score draw again, UCD against Monaghan. Yeah, and again, right, this next game, Shelburne versus St. Pat's, not a huge amount of separation in the betting. No. Shelburne, I suppose, they did lose pretty badly last weekend, but they were unbeaten until then. So yeah, they were, and, and they've started the well. Yeah, they week, are so. against the top team last week, but I just felt that they should have given a little bit more. 4-0, um, it really tells a gulf in class between Rovers and Shell. St. Pat's, 
They started on fire, they won their first two games, they've drawn their last two games. I'm going to go for Shells here to win yeah. at home at 13-8. to eight. For those of you who want to back Pats, 8-5, to five. the draw is 21-10. to 10. But I just think that will have kind of, it'll have woken up Shells, getting beat that bad last week. They've got to get back to basics. They're at home at Talca Park. I think they'll give Pats a right, I think this will be the best game of the week actually. Very open and attractive football from both teams. But I'm going to go with Shells and nick it at 13 to 8. Okay, and moving on to the last game on Saturday, it's um, where the Bitter Red will welcome Dundalk to the showgrounds. Yeah. This is going to be an interesting fixture. Dundalk finally got a point on the board, but at 11 to 1, have they any hope? <sighs> well, look, come here. I mean, in a three horse race, when you're getting a team at 11 to 1, I suppose it's remiss not to even take a look at it. But yeah. they beat UCD, fair enough. But before that, they hadn't scored in three games. Now, they've only conceded three goals this year, yeah. Dundalk, so they don't give away too many goals. And that's always a good starting point. Make yourself hard to beat and try and nick a goal if you can. Chris Shields would probably be their most potent attack up front. But Sligo, for me, they've won three in a row after drawing their first game. They are the real deal. Mm -hmm. They're the only side who I feel can take the title away from Shamrock Rovers. And I think Sligo will beat Dundalk. Uh, the boys in the office won't be happy with me. No. Um, but I think Sligo will one win this one. One to four, maybe look at the handicap. You know, yeah, but one to four. Goals, well, maybe even if you put in, one, and I know it's not going to make you rich, but if you put in Rovers and Sligo in a double, three is on. I mean, you'll get back um, for a three euro stake, you'll get back five euro. So it's not too bad. Um, and I think yeah. you are getting something. I think both of these two sides are home bankers. So that'll be my. Nap for the weekend. Rovers and Sligo both to win. Okay, that's a. Uh, it's not going to make. <laughs> yeah, in a double, it's not going to make you a lot of money. But listen, yeah. you won't lose. You know, and that's the most important thing. There's not many bankers that would return you 66 percent on your investment, and these two teams should easily account for Bows and Dundalk respectively.